It's Wednesday, January 12th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. North Korea claims that it successfully test-fired a new hypersonic missile on Tuesday and that it's more advanced than its previous versions. The KCNA also said leader Kim Jong-un and his sister Kim Yo-jong attended the firing on Tuesday, and Kim honored the officials involved in missile development for the great achievement. He also stressed the need to further accelerate the efforts to build up the country's strategic military muscle. This was North Korea's second missile launch in less than a week, and Kim's appearance at the launch shows his open support for weapons development amidst all nuclear talks with the U.S. The last time Kim attended a missile firing was almost two years ago in March 2020. Right after North Korea's missile launch on Tuesday, flights out of some airports on the U.S. West Coast were grounded for about 15 minutes. The Federal Aviation Administration said the grounding was done as a precaution, but it's unclear what exactly triggered the alert as the U.S. military said it did not order the action. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki addressed the grounding on Tuesday, saying she believes it was done out of an abundance of caution and that the FFA will be assessing their approach moving forward. She also condemned North Korea's missile launch and called on Pyongyang to stop further provocations and return to dialogue. South Korea reported the largest job growth in seven years last year amid the economic recovery from the pandemic. According to Statistics Korea, the number of people with jobs hit 27.27 million last year, which was 369,000 more than the year before. It was also the largest on-year increase since 2014. And compared to the fall of 220,000 jobs in 2020, which was the worst record since 1998, last year's growth shows that the recovery in the job market is picking up steam. Korea's unemployment rate also fell 0.6 percentage point on year to 3.5% last month. And those are your top stories. For full length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.